Welcome to an example on how to use the newer version of the T84 to determine the probability that a z-score is less than a given value for a standard normal distribution. Here we're asked to determine the probability that the z-score is less than 1.64. So looking at the graph of the standard normal distribution shown here below, notice z equals 1.64 would be approximately here. and therefore the probability that z is less than 1.64 would be the same as the area under the standard normal distribution curve shown here to the left of z equals 1.64, which should be this area here. To find this area and the probability that z is less than 1.64, we'll use the normal CDF feature on the T84 graphing calculator. Well, we'll enter a, b, mu, and sigma which gives values for the cumulative normal density function occurring between x equals a and x equals b, and this value would also be the cumulative area under the standard normal distribution between a and b, which will give us our probability. And if mu is equal to zero and sigma is equal to one, the values of a and b would be lower and upper bound z-scores. So in this case, notice how the upper bound z-score is going to be 1.64, and we'll have to exaggerate a lower bound z-score as some value far to the left on the negative x-axis to make sure we obtain all the area from the far left to z equals 1.64. So from the home screen we press second vars for distribution and then option two normal CDF. On the newer version of the T84 it brings up this screen which is different from the older version of the 84 or the 83. So here we'll enter the lower bound z-score Let's go ahead and just use negative 99,999. Of course, any value far to the left of negative three would work. Let's press enter. The upper bound z-score is going to be 1.64. Now I'm saying z-score is because we are gonna set mu equal to zero and sigma equal to one. If these weren't zero and one, then the upper and lower bounds would be data values. So we'll press enter again. Again, mu is already zero. We'll press enter again, sigma is already one. So we'll press enter down to paste and we'll press enter on paste. And this pastes all the information to the home screen. If we scroll to the far left, notice how we do have the normal CDF command, then the lower bound z-score, upper bound z-score, mu and sigma. So if we press enter, this will give us the area to the left of z equals 1.64, which is also the probability that z is less than 1.64. So notice how our probability is approximately 0 0.9495. So the probability that z is less than 1.64 is approximately 0 0.9495, or as a percentage, we'd have approximately 94.9 to 5%. I hope you found this helpful.